Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the last episode, we took on a bunch of side questy stuff, and uh, in this episode though, we head back to the Temple of the Ocean King because one pure metal awaits, but no island that we know of has it, which means we need to get ourselves a new sea chart. The northeastern sea chart awaits under three new floors of phantomy goodness, but we'll also be tackling the old floors, because now that we have the grappling hook and the bomb chew, there's a lot of really epic shortcuts and really epic, uh, rewards for us to get as well, so we're gonna really be diving into how to navigate the Phantom or the Temple of the Ocean King and avoid phantoms like a pro. That being said, the new three floors I will not be using the bomb chew or the grappling hook because I want to show you guys how to do it uh, normally. Because you can get to this at any point after you get the southeastern uh, sea chart. The northeastern sea chart is also available if you so choose. But, uh... I decided just to go get those two because, it, you know, you get more time, you get those e extra equipment, it's just kind of handy to do that. And I was it's hard to do it in a decent time frame when you don't have... The grappling hook and the bomb tool allows to skip so much, by the way. Anyway, these guys still have new, uh, new secrets, so we're gonna go ahead and see what wisdom they have to impart to us. Um, basically, there's an item you can use to skip the entire third floor, essentially. And if you have a key, if you grab the key from the third floor, you can even use it on a lower floor. So basically, it kind of hints at the, the whole, what the skeleton said earlier about you being able to use a key in order to access a... a or you be able to t take a key from above to access a secret below, essentially. So that is doable, and actually, I'm going to be able to show off how you do that the whole process uh, in this episode. So that's going to be a thing. What about you? You have some handy techniques for us. Uh, weapons other than the boomerang work to defeat phantom eyes. Bombs help a lot, and also, um... Bomb Chew, a very good weapon against the Phantom Eyes, as we'll show off. So we have a lot of cool secrets to show off, um, and I will be doing a lot of that today. It's gonna be pretty cool. So more Phantom secrets. Well, we already know this Pirate of Spirits will well hurt the Phantoms. It definitely helps a lot. So uh, thank you for that, sir. Speaking of powering up, we do need our sword powered up in order to handle the Phantoms. So back to our power sword, our flame sword. Uh, by the way, how much time do we have before? I'm kind of curious here. Uh, Two minutes and 47 seconds, so we did that pretty decently. We'll actually be able to shave off some even more time from that as we navigate this. And this is including us taking a bit of side tours to get a few interesting secrets along the way, so... Here we go! Temple of the Ocean King again! With our grappling hook and our bomb shoe, we'll be able to get a lot of cool stuff, though, so it's gonna work out really nicely, starting with here, where we can actually grapple across this, um, to be able to shoot this eye, and that'll cause a treasure to spawn over here, so... Kind of cool how that works. It is a time treasure, though, so as much as I'm going to get noticed here, I can outrun the phantoms, although there is no safe zone here, so we're going to be quick. We're going to have to be quick. We're going to have to... Oh, they stopped noticing us. We won't have to be quick. Apparently, they have no attention span whatsoever, luckily for us. Else, you'd have to kind of run here in a hurry, but we were apparently so quick that this, the phantom already lost sight of us, which is going to become slightly annoying because this phantom is now here. Oh, well, can, you can't climb a rope, buddy. Hi, buddy. Luckily for us, we have lots of ways to escape now, because we use stuff like the grappling hook and uh, other ways to essentially evade capture, which is nice. So, that helped. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop a bomb here. Hustle over here. Grab the key, head to the next floor. So, we got ourselves a new Curse Gem. That was a nice cacophony of different Zelda noises there going on. But, uh... That's cool. So, we have the key, head to the next floor, and move on. So, we'll get some nice secrets on these first few floors, and uh, then it'll be Shortcut City for the rest of it, which is going to be nice as well. So, uh, the usual, bomb this area, hit this switch. There we go, that was sloppily hitted there. But we can go ahead and hit this switch as well. Get the key to drop here, head over here, grab this. It just all works out. Who cares about avoiding the phantom's detection when you can just kind of go in a circle here and... Oh, I was hoping I wouldn't get noticed. Actually, I want to head the other way first anyway, though, so this kind of works out. Um... Oh, hi, buddy! He turned around just in time to evade me. Kind of annoying. Alright, so what we want to do here is, uh... You know, save ourselves a few seconds here and hide in a safe zone. I actually want to head over here before I do that for one major reason, which is the fact that there's a bomb chew hole here. And now that we have bomb shoes, we can uh, do something like that. Though we want to wait for this spike thing to head past here, because if it doesn't, uh, our bomb shoe will not be able to make it past. It'll hit that instead, and uh, it'll be annoying. So it'll hit that switch, cause the treasure chest to spawn over there, and uh, it is a time chest. So I figured before we get the key, you know, may as well head over here, grab this chest, and move forward. So do that first, save yourself a little bit of time, give yourself a wisdom gem. 
always nice. So it's two gems already in this temple, which is pretty awesome. Although there's not gonna be too many more rewards. We uh, we've done a lot of the stuff with Bomb Chew and uh, with the grappling hook already. Most of it's gonna be shortcut related, not reward re related. We'll get our rewards and other st cool stuff later, but. Uh, for now, oh, you noticed me, how rude. We have the key, head in here, and we'll head to floor three. Now, floor three is where the real shortcutage is gonna come in here. We're gonna real skip a lot of floor three just using our, uh, our grappling hook. That being said, there is actually something I want to do as well, which is basically, uh, I wanna lure this guy over to, okay, can I actually make this roll? Oh, epic dodge! I wanna lure this guy specifically over here. I want to bring it up uh, because we're going to be doing a we're gonna do a little trick here while we're on this. I want to show off basically on every single floor you can kill the phantoms in order to get treasures, and it is actually possible at this point to kill the phantom on this floor and uh, get the treasure without having need. I mean, a lot of them you have to do really convoluted methods. This one's actually fairly simple. Lure the phantom over there, and eventually he'll head back up to where he was uh, going to go. And all it requires then is for him to use to just use this. And you can bring him down, use this, bring the other one down, and there you go. So all I need to do is lure that phantom over to that corner, and he'll eventually uh, just walk right past one of the two holes. So you can use that, and but you need the grappling hook in order to actually access the treasure in the first place. Once you do that, you'll get a random treasure. Not really very anything too special, but what can you do? Uh, it's still a free treasure that you can get every time you come here. I figured I'd just show off that little trick while we're there. Uh, we'll grab the extra time while we're up here. Honestly, if you're going for like speedrun tactics, by the way, using uh, Bomb Chew is preferred because you can generally stay in a safe zone and save yourself a, a little bit of time as you do that. Uh, but grab the small key while you're down here as well. Because with the small key, um, this is actually the extra small key because it's used to get a force gem. But we have no need for these force gems anymore because there is an actual epic shortcut over here that we're going to use. So instead of doing that, we set up a rope between these two and you can fling yourself up here skip the force gems entirely. So we have an extra bonus key now. This key is spare and it's actually gonna be used for a shortcut later on. So that works out pretty well. As you can see, 40 seconds only to get through this first section now. 40 seconds to get through here. That's a win in my book. That's a fail arrow in my book as well. So head over here. Uh, I want some sort of, okay, I was, I was hoping we could Get some sort of, uh, I was, I was wondering if there was going to be a red pot of, of some sort here. There's one over here, though. That works. Uh, we can get everything we want from over here, so. Let the phantoms have their fun. Doesn't really matter. Because from here, we can actually bomb chew both things we need to bomb chew. First of all, head up here, bomb chew this. Because, uh, this will activate the switch here. And we get ourselves a second door to the next floor. However, you can see, there is in fact a key over there that we need to get over there. So, we still need to get the key on this floor, because we want that spare key for something else later. So, bring the bomb shoe over this way, hit that switch instead, and uh, that will unlock the, easily unlock the way to get the key there while still staying safe, while still staying in a safe zone. And by the way, good trick to kill these phantom eyes, just send a bomb shoe over there. It'll just deal with them really easily. You can do it from, from the safety of a safe zone from pretty much anywhere. So, interesting tactics you can use. Bomb shoe are extremely helpful against in the Temple of the Ocean King, as a matter of fact. So. Small key, uh, you can use that to open doors. We already know this, I don't know why I'm explaining this. Do you have anything new to say, Mr. Guy? You tend to have new things. You can snatch things with that device you have there. Uh, I, I, not, I, I guess we're assuming, uh, I'm not sure what, what, we're, what we're actually supposed to be talking about, but either way, phantoms don't matter. We now have access to this door. Use one of our two keys, because we're keeping a spare, and we can head down to this floor and essentially skip most of the, uh, the silliness over here because we uh, we get to skip all the fights. We're pretty much at the end here. We have a win way to get across. Just turn off the win quickly for one second though, because we want to grab this chest because it has a treasure map in there. Next episode, I will be going through all these treasure maps. Finally, by the way, we'll have a bonus episode with all of the treasure maps. But uh, come on, win, come back. I need to turn, you need to turn the win back on by striking the switch again. So hit it a second time. The win comes back. Go across. So we'll begin, well, now that we have, that's why I want to do uh, the treasure maps afterwards, though. I figured I'd get the one from uh, the Temple of the Ocean King first. So that's the plan. All we need to do now is just head down here, hit the switch, and we're here. So, I mean, actually, I don't need an item. I'm supposed to, there we go. Use the door. Draw a Triforce, as you remember. So Triforce just like that. And as you can see, 1 minute 33 seconds only for us to get to uh, 
So instead of 2 minutes 12, whatever it was, we're now at 1 minute 30 seconds, essentially, to get to this area. Which is still fairly lengthy, so yeah, 1 minute 33. Not too shabby. I don't want to return. Do not return to the temple entrance, though. If you do, you'll lose any spare small keys you have. And that is disastrous because, uh, well, we need it for a shortcut. But I think if you go in there, at least if you go in there, it'll, it'll save your shortcut forever. Which is handy, I suppose. We now have a 1 minute 33 seconds. We want to... We're eventually going to want to speedrun this thing perfectly, which we'll do when we're not, you know, chasing down phantoms. We Obviously, without having to chase down phantoms or get any of those treasures, we can cut even more time out of the equation. But, uh... And we'll be doing that at some point because we're going to want... Uh, because if you actually speedrun this perfectly and get a score of, uh... I think it's like 26 minutes or so, which... Or it's whatever the max minutes is, you basically have to do it using the time-ups in order to, uh get ma max time and uh, not lose any time off driving through it. If you do that, uh, once we actually able to do the whole temple, we'll be able to access, uh, or we'll be able to get some really awesome treasures for doing so. You get rewarded pretty nicely for speedrunning this. So we'll do that at some point. But uh, as you can see, grappling hook across this, we can now easily access the round gem, and then we can now use this gem, or we can now use our spare key here to unlock this door and head down to the, to, to the floor below, pretty much bypassing two whole floors, essentially. So yeah, the key is, uh, is, is it's, you're supposed to bring it down from the floor above. That's where you put your spare key that you get from floor three. So that's kind of cool how it works. You bring it down here, get an extra bit of time here. And uh, from there, all we need to do is hit this pot here. Because what we can do now is use some more bomb chew. Uh, essentially, you want to draw your bomb chew all the way over here, through the hole, and into the switch. If you do this, uh, you'll actually pretty much be able to, like I said, you pretty much skip two whole floors here on here, because we get the round gem by grappling across, and then you bring down the door, and all you need to do now is just take the round gem into the door. That's all you need to do. There's no extra, I mean, there's no bomb chew or grappling hook treasures we can get, so now we're already on this floor with a gem. As you remember correctly, if you get the square gem, if you put the square gem into the thing over there, the, the triangle gem's on this floor as well. So all three gems are already here. Okay, get over here, Mr. Wibbly Wobbly. I want your timey wimey. So what we need to do now is essentially uh, get the square gem from the phantom, but we're also going to try to kill the phantom, which isn't going to work this way, because I need to kill the phantom. Okay, we're going to head down here. We want to go ahead and uh, basically, as you remember, every time you kill the phantom, you actually get a treasure every single... Don't do it! I see you here. Don't do it. I don't trust you! You're- they're both here. Oh god, no! You're not allowed to do that, that's cheating! <sighs> You've cost me my time, sir! Alright, where are you? Get out of here. I don't like you. Alright, well, unfortunate happenstance there, but we do get the square gem, so that kind of works out in the long run. We can bring the square gem over here, put it in, and this will allow us access to the triangle gem, so... Hi, Mr. Guy, you nearby? You gonna come haunt me? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Hey, there you are. Give me your time. So as you can see, we've barely, we're still under a minute of time wasted. We're not even uh, at the next floor yet, so. Or we're not, we're not, we're almost, you know, two, three quarters of the way done of the Temple of the Ocean King, essentially. So we can even, we can go to the next floor right now, but I do want to kill this phantom, so I will actually go ahead and kill the phantom. Hi, Mr. Guy. How's it going? Give me your extra time. Okay. Hit this, open this, bring this down, and we should be able to use this to kill a phantom now. It's going to be heading down here on its patrol. The uh, hole is right here, so we just need to wait for it to fall for the trap. And you get ourselves a free treasure that will have a ship part in it. So hey, free ship part, I'm not complaining. I say you just do this every time you come here. You, who knows what kind of ship part you can get. It could be something new or exciting. You never know, maybe you could even get lucky and get a golden part. Very rare, but very possible. So... I say, you know, come down here and get a free ship part every time you can. It's free, essentially, because that phantom is really easy to kill. It works out really nicely. So with that, guys, we're actually able to uh, access the new floors already, and we, we haven't even run the official in-game clock out by a minute. So if you remember what the guy inside there said, um, the correct code to input to get to the next floor is, is square circle triangle as the... Uh, the, the skeleton inside here will tell you. So that's the, that's the key to head onwards. It'll bring us down a floor as we did last time. And uh, there you have it. We can now head outside and uh, access our three new floors. 
complete with new phantoms and everything. It's very exciting. So yeah, this guy just tells you square, circle, triangle, so just do it before you get in here. Save yourself a little bit of time. So here we go, guys. Whole new floor. Is there, is there any extra time here? No. Oh, there is extra time. Sweet. So look at that. We're pretty much 16 seconds off of breaking completely even right now. That's awesome, I think. You can pretty much say, you, you can, it's not too hard to actually have a perfect run of this. We're not even really speed running it. I mean, we shaved, six, if we had shaved 16 seconds off, easy if we didn't bother killing phantoms, easily could have made it here with our max time still. It's crazy how fast you can speed run the temple at this point. But here we go, guys, new phantoms to deal with. These are uh, the warp phantoms. And if they catch you, scary things happen, so. Stay sneaky, basically. But we're gonna actually do a little trick here, too. Um, basically, to see one of them has a key, so we're gonna have to kill him for this key. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and get myself caught here. Because some, you can do a really cool trick here uh, to kill the phantoms off in this room and get a treasure as well. So, let them warp over here. Let them let them do their shenanigans. It's okay. Actually, can I get him before he... Ah, ha, ha! I can stun him! And because I can do this, I can now... Actually, no, I'm just killing him now. I don't care. You can kill off the phantom with that, although, ooh, that's gonna make this phantom hard to kill now. Because the other rock is way over there. Okay. You know what? Hi. Notice me. Oh, actually, give me the key here. Okay, so... That might have been a bad plan, because I was hoping I can kill both of them, but that one actually avoided it. So, if you can pull that off and kill both of them, you can easily get the reward there. I want to try to kill off both of them if I can. Is this gonna respawn? Okay, it's only gonna spawn the one, though. So you can actually just pull off the trick twice here and, uh get both phantoms by doing that as well. So even without having to get the grappling hook, because the grappling hook will allow us access to a second rock, but you can lure the first guy over using the... Oh, you're, you have to... Okay, we'll just kill him. We'll kill him off later. It's no big deal. Because as you can see here, using the grappling hook... Uh, not sure how I missed that, but using the grappling hook, we can actually access a second rock here, which will be handy when it comes to killing the phantom on the right. You can generally just roll this down and kill him. But as you can see, what the fa what these new phantoms do, the thing that's new about them, they will warp around essentially whenever one of them notices you and you'll be chased by multiple ones of them. So they're slower, they're not as fast as speed phantoms, but they'll warp around if anything detects you. So you have to be very careful about uh, dealing with them. It definitely can get a little bit scary. Um, so can I actually reach? I can reach this, okay. A little bit of extra time on the clock. And we're gonna hustle over here. Um, this is actually is a bomb thing, so bomb this. And then this pole uh, doesn't really seem like there's much use for it right now. It's not really anything to grapple to. Um, but there's actually there actually will be a, a really nice use of this for this later. Um, you know what? No, I'm not, I'm not using no, no using bomb shoes or grappling hooks for anything too important. I'm gonna go ahead and do this the way it's originally intended. So first of all, just so yeah, this is how you're supposed to do it if you don't actually get those items beforehand, essentially. Um, because as you can see, there are bomb chew holes. You can use these bomb chew holes to hit the switch from across the way, then I'll lock the spikes over there, it'll save you some backtracking. You can also use it to kill off the phantom eyes from a distance, which is also nice. Which I want to sneak around here. Ah, oh, he caught me. But at least it didn't make the guy warp, so that was handy as enough. If, if they're not too far away, it won't really matter. I'm gonna just wait for this guy to respawn here, actually, while I'm here though. Might as well hit this from this area. That'll lock the spikes over on the right there. And, uh... Come on, get Mr. Guy. Where are you? Show back up again. Mr. Guy? Okay, you know what? We'll come get you later. I don't even... Oh, now you're back. And now you're... Uh, this is just obno... This is a little bit obnoxious. They have to deal with this guy. Okay, warp away. I don't care. Run over here. We're gonna get a little bit of bonus time that you can get over here, so... Run out the clock again. Okay, he's coming back this way. Boomerang! That's how it's supposed to be done. Boomerang's definitely the weapon of choice here, I would say. And uh, now that that thing's open, we can actually go kill that phantom if we so want to. Which I do want to. Uh, killing that phantom is nice. Oh, I didn't, I, it knocked me all the way across. I was trying to get that bonus time. But oh well. Um, so now that the spikes are down, it's easy to go ahead and kill this phantom. So just bring the rock down there. It'll slay him. That switch down there, by the way, is not something you can... Uh, that, that switch down there is not something we can hit. You see, it looks a little different from normal switches. We haven't seen that kind of switch before. There's nothing we can do about that right now. So ignore that. That'll be something that'll come in handy in the future, but not in the present. So uh, as you can see, a chest spawn because we kill both phantoms. That's why I wanted to show off killing them because, well, it's nice. Smack the last phantom eye, slay it. As once, and plus, once they're dead, they'll uh, it'll be handy. But as you can see, that chest spawned up there. 
So you might ask yourself, okay, how are you supposed to get that chest? There's, there's, there doesn't seem like it would be a way to get it. You can't, you don't actually, you can't um, jump up on the wall from using the air. You can, but there are um, things blocking you off from getting it. So how are you supposed to get that chest? Well, the answer to that one actually is by using the grappling hook. Uh, that peg down there that seemed completely useless. By the way, the fans will just, will just give you rupees on this floor, which is a little anticlimactic, but oh well. Let's see if we can get this bonus time. Don't knock me the Okay, good. God damn it, I jumped down. Oh, come on. This is so not wasted. This is so not worth the time I'm wasting right now. Come on. Get me up here. Don't. Okay. It's kind of hard to land that because sometimes it just takes you all the way across. That was not worth the 15 seconds I just spent on it, but oh well. Uh, now that that chest is up down there, though, we can head down here there with our trusty grappling hook. And uh, this will actually provide us a really, really nice shortcut in the future as well because now this chest is permanently here, if I remember correctly. You can grapple across here at any point. And uh, you can get some rupees, but from now on, this is actually an easy shortcut because we can jump up there, grapple across here, and bypass everything entirely. So all we really need to do now is use bomb chews to hit that one switch. Um, then I'll drop the spikes on the left there, kill that phantom, grab his key, run down there, grapple across, jump on there, grapple the treasure chest, get in here. Easy shortcut. So kind of cool how that works. This room does not have much of a shortcut, but it does actually let you... Actually, no, it does have a humongous shortcut. You can you can skip it entirely, but you can only skip it once you... Uh, you can't We can't skip it now, though, because you can head down to this floor easily, and it'll give you a safe zone. It'll give you some time to recharge and stock up, and it'll even give you access to a treasure chest on this 12th floor. But uh, we don't have a way to deal with this device right here yet. So we can't actually do anything on this. We can't get a treasure chest because uh, it's timed. Obviously, without being able to use that thing, we're not going to be able to get across there, but that'll be our shortcut in the future once we have this. We just don't have the item to do this yet, so that's a shortcut for a future day. For now, though, uh, we have to deal with... Oh, can I get two phantom... Oh, this is going to hit the... Oh, wow, that didn't actually hit him. Okay, double phantom eye stun! Alright, well, basically we have to deal with this floor the normal way. That's how you skip this floor in the future, though, but I'm going to have to show off it off the normal way at some point. So... We have basically four switches to hit, but before we hit head to the switches, um, we need to create bridges. One bridge is already here, over here. The other bridges are not. Uh, this skeleton gives you a hint as a switch over here. That will uh, make a bridge over there, but it's timed and we're not going to deal with going through that yet. Basically, we need to head up and hit those four uh, brown switches as well. Uh, I'm going to grab some time. Oh, that phantom is spawning right on my butt. I do not want, do not want, do not want. Alright, hey, I'm in a safe zone. Can't catch me today. Goodbye. Oh, bad touch. I made noise. So basically we're going to make all these bridges spawn and then head up um, to each of those sections, hit those four switches, and that'll be the thing that opens the door to success. So that's the plan. Um, there's one switch over there. There's going to be one switch... Ah, poop. He got me. Well, oh god, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad! Ah ha 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 ha! No, 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 no! Oh! Safety, safety, safety! Oh! Maximum scariness there! Maximum scariness. They both warp away, we don't have to care anymore. Alright, so this guy's actually kind of funny. Uh, he's like, oh, you can't use the control pad! I regret saying that, now I'm dead because I complained about touchscreen controls. Kind of a little dig at people who hate the touchscreen controls. Which is honestly a fair complaint because touchscreen screen controls are cool, but they're still obnoxious. So, I don't know, it's kind of them making a nice little dig, I guess, at, the, at all the haters. I don't know. God damn it, why do you have to be like this? Why, why, nope, nope, get out of here, I'm killing you. I don't care if the phantoms are here, you die because I want that treasure chest over there. In fact, you know what? I don't even care about the phantoms. I'm making a run for that treasure because I want the money I've learned well from Lineback. Oh god! Oh god! How are they here? I was just taking out of my shovel! Maximum rude right there! But we get ourselves a treasure over here, so... Dark pearl loops are cool. We can sell those for a decent amount of money, so... <sighs> I hate the noisy floors. I'm not good at being quiet. I think we've all noticed this. Okay. Sneaky. Sneaky, 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 stabby! All right, so uh, basically what you have, you have these things is the usual method of riding the wind up here. You hit the switch, and but no, nothing happens. It's because, uh, as this, these signs will indicate, step on the four switches on top of the four platforms, that's the way you proceed. So we basically need to uh, 
step on all four of these switches, all these things will say the same thing, because we don't need enough reminders of this concept. Also, stabby! Um, and then the last one's over here, so ride this up. As you can see, skipping this entire floor will be a massive save, uh, you know, it'll save our time massively by skipping this floor, which we'll be able to do once we get the final item of the game, so we'll deal with that. Now, the question is, can bomb shoes... Yeah, I can just use my bomb shoe to hit this as well. Which, I said I was gonna use bomb shoes, and really, the, I mean, you can just throw, you just also leave a bomb, but really, as far as I'm aware, you can just run it and make it in time as long as the wind is favorable. Which it is! You can easily just make it up here in time anyway, so... Yeah, you can use a bomb shoe from there to save time, but that being said, by the time you come back here, the, the easier shortcut will be with the new item anyway, so... I don't know, it's kind of silly. So, step on the floor switches, blah blah blah, it's the same thing that I always say, but you know... This isn't like a... a locked wall, is it? You know what? I can... use bomb shoe to find out. Nope. This is just a normal wall. Oh, great! The warp police are here. Lame. Alright. That wall always makes me think there's something hidden behind there, but no, there isn't. It's just a random safe zone. Alright, well, get a little, a little bit of extra time, a little bit of extra hearts. Pull this to open up the door, the thing here. And, uh, it's now time to take on the final floor, which is, as you can see, another Force Gem floor. So, uh, we will deal with this, though. Uh, first of all, just boomerang these Phantom Eyes so they're not in the way. They will obviously be a pain in the butt as long as they exist. And then we want to head over here. Now, this seems relatively easy. Just one Phantom. Fairly straightforward room with a lot of room to run around here. Seems pretty simple at first. But, as we progress, it's gonna get more and more difficult. For example, we get our first Force Gem here. And it'll cause a blue phantom to spawn here. Which means he's not gonna be on patrol, we're gonna have to navigate around him. He always looks to the right first, so, uh... Just sneak around him this way, and you can avoid conflict there fairly easily. Because obviously, um, these things will be fire that show up if the phantoms spot you. We do not want the phantoms to spot us, so... We, uh... We don't want to get blocked off by that, that'll just be annoying. It's basically the same kind of Force Gem concept as uh, Floor 3 was. No, I mean, we skipped one, we still have to do another. Makes sense, I suppose. And every time you put a Force Gem in, uh, Mr. Wibbly Wobbly the Timey Wimey here will show up. Which will be nice for speedrunning, because these are great sources of, t of free time. I definitely accidentally uh, ran to a noise floor there. So, we'll go ahead and just let this guy... Uh, alert us. I mean, that phantom is not much of a threat. He's really slow when he doesn't warp around, so we can just slay that guy. Oh, he's right there now. Be quiet. Being quiet. Being quiet. Okay, we're safe. So head over here. By the way, there is an, uh, also a pot here, so be smart. Create a safe zone, uh, because it will come in handy to have that. So, uh, Force Gem, but as you can imagine, it'll cause a phantom to spawn as well, so... We're gonna have to navigate around that. Oh, he just turned directly around. Okay, well, don't care about him. And I know Warp One's gonna show up, but I can hide in the safe zone I've created here until he goes away. You can head over here, but as you can see, it's that weird sort of switch here that doesn't really uh, work. Okay, nope, I'm sorry. Oh, nope, I rolled right through my safe zone. Ugh, <sighs> annoying. All right, now we can just deal with him. So we can't actually get a shortcut, unfortunately, we have no way to do that, because we can't get those switches quite yet. So, that's okay though, we'll uh, we'll just have to take the long way around. I mean, this is our first time doing these new floors, we don't need the shortcuts yet. We'll be doing a shortcut speedrunny version of the temple soon enough. I'm gonna be doing two runs of the final temple, actually. Oh, crap! That was rude! Actually, I can, I can access the switch here, by the way, so... He's... <laughs> That actually surprised me, I wasn't paying attention. He totally snuck up on me there. That phantom is still a thing! First of all, give me my thing back. I want this one back. But that red phantom stole our... Just the rudeness! The rudeness. No! It's mine! Jerk! I wanna get the other one before he... No, don't notice me! Ah, poop. Huh? Run. Run. I don't want him to grab my- No! Oh, I don't like either- I'm just having a phantom balooza here! Oh boy. Ah! Screw it. Abort mission! Ow! So, there were a lot of phantoms. 
and life was hard. Okay, well, that's how to fail at this room like a moron, but I suppose no one was surprised that day. So yeah, maybe abandoning these would have been smarter, but... Oh, crap! I was gonna say there's really no way to get around. I can't. Okay. I failed twice at the same area. It's so hard to take a, th a thing through there because that, that warp phantom is like perfectly positioned to catch you off guard there. Alright, one more try here with feeling. At least the speedy phantom isn't here this time. So we're gonna grab this. Because. Alright. Just stay on the backside of the warp phantom here. Or of the normal phantom. Wait for this one to walk by, and there we go. Now we can navigate this properly. Make it up here. And, uh. Avert the disaster that was this room. Ugh. It'll be so much easier when the sh Even then, like, the shortcuts aren't gonna help that much, so... Yeah, I lost a lot of time there. I lost about a minute's worth of time. It's unfortunate, but... It wasn't too bad. And actually, I can make up the time again because another one of those, uh... Stalker guys showed up, so let's go ahead and grab his extra time just because... I want to feel slightly better about not completely failing in this room. I know you're there. Not fooling anyone. Oh, hey, that's forgot. If you kill all three of them, a treasure actually does spawn here as well. So I don't even care about this guy anymore. We're just gonna run past him and get this chest. No big deal. So what's in here? A new ship part, which is actually part of the stone set. Okay, you have my attention, game. That's cool. So uh, we now have the stone ship part as well. So we might as well throw that on before the episode's over as well. And we almost have a full stone set here. St or stone and- Really? 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 Come on. Come on, game. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, crap. He's going to notice my noise. No, he didn't. I've been successful. The one phantom noticed me, so he turned around and killed me. Before I could hit him. Ugh. The failure is real. Oh well. At least I'm not failing for forgetting what to do. I'm failing just because of silly phantom antics, which is definitely going to be the biggest problem with speedrunning this, is making sure you don't get killed by those last few phantoms. They're not as easy as they look. So, Northeastern Sea Chart finally has gotten here. Um, two new islands, and of course probably some hidden ones as well. We'll be exploring that in a few episodes after we take care of the treasure maps, basically. So, a whole new sea with one more pure metal. It's going to be very exciting to explore those, so we'll be heading back. But before we do that, um, we're going to navigate this room. As you can see, this room doesn't freeze time like the other rooms of the maps do. Uh, this, one's, this one's actually still a, a room in itself. And uh, the path will open when you possess the ability to defeat a phantom. So we don't actually have the ability to do that yet. There's a mysterious door here, and we don't have a way to get past that yet until we can actually slay phantoms. Interestingly enough, there's um, some markers here that indicate this room being locked at some point, so... There might be a bit of a trap in this room, but we don't really have a way to activate it yet. We're safe to go for now. That'll be happening next time we come back to this floor. It'll be... it'll be interesting. So, with that, we're done with the, uh, Temple of the Ocean King for today. We can actually use our 1 minute 33 second time if we so choose, but we don't need to. And, uh, these guys, I think, actually have a new secret now. They do. Each of them has a new secret, so they'll spend some more money to learn their secrets again. Um, use the phantom's back and uneven terrain to your advantage. I mean, it's kind of what we've been doing to begin with, except for that last floor, which I just utterly bombed, but that's okay. The failure montage needs some love still. I'm gonna have a lot of fails to pick from for once. It's actually kind of nice. Um, <laughs> I panicked so hard there. Uh, so yes, oh, so that's actually interesting. You can actually take red pots down to different floors, but, uh, the save zones you get from them will disappear over time as well, so keep that in mind. Um, or, well, they'll, they'll disappear when you go to a different... So, save zones disappear. Pots do not, though. You actually take pots down if you need a save zone early on in the floor. Which could have been handy on that floor, but that's not really... There's not really going to ever be a time where I want... Where I need to, uh, use a red pot there. So, there's a shortcut there. You can go to the 12... You can skip the 11th floor by going to the 12th floor. Like I said, we need a new item in order to be able to do that, though. We can't skip the 11th floor yet. When we do, we'll be able to cut out a lot of time, especially if I don't derp and kill myself too much. Because there's a lot of and because there's a lot of extra time on those areas though, so getting the max time speed run is definitely possible still, definitely definitely possible. So um, I will definitely be pulling that off because you see how close I was to navigating those um, first few floors about of that, and 
I didn't use any shortcuts on those last three floors. I showed them off the way they're supposed to be done. So once we can, well, you know, using the bomb shoes, using the grappling hook, using the actually use shortcuts there, or using the spoilers, which I'm bleeping that out so no one knows, using the final item that I just said out loud and no one's going to know, um, you can actually essentially, you know, doing a max time run is going to be fun and doable, I think. I'm, I'm looking forward to challenging myself and trying to do that. I think it'll be it'll be really fun. So don't worry, guys. I'll definitely be showing that off in this Let's Play. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough. Let's quickly go ahead and input our new hull here. Ugh, so much extra stone. Oh my god, my ship looks badass now. Look at this thing. I actually really like this. If only I had the stone prow, it would actually be perfect right now. But uh, we might have to actually get the whole the whole stone set here. That'll be actually kind of cool. So, there'll still be six hearts. Maybe with some certain treasures we're going to get next time, we might be able to push it to seven. But we're going to find that out next time, guys. We'll be taking on all those treasure maps, and then the Northeastern Sea awaits us. We have a lot of epic exploration to Just look at this. Look at this ship. Oh, oh look at this beauty. This beauty is so good. Oh, I'm so happy. Anyways. This is Lucky70x signing out, guys. We'll see you guys in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass for more treasures. Bye-bye, guys.